Get her ID, visa. I don't care anymore. I'm, I'm done. I'm done, please. Like, I'm just a nobody. That's just how I'll put it, you know, it's worth. I mean, every day uh, we fight it. This, I'm telling you, deliver. Every day we fight, you know. Telling security to get him. I'm Michael Condon. We had you, you know. I mean, many things. I, I mean, it's a lot. For me to leave, for me to have left, rather. I mean, it was, uh, it has gotten to, to my, to, to the point I couldn't just bear it anymore. And people were saying, oh, I, I, I have another woman out there. I planned this and I never planned anything. Welcome back. The tension in the courtroom was palpable as Michael Ilisanmi and Angela Deem, former spouses and 90 Day Fiancé stars, faced off in a legal battle that had been months in the making. According to reports, the long-anticipated showdown culminated in a decisive victory for Michael, leaving Angela visibly defeated. Michael, alongside his legal team, was seen celebrating their victory after the judge ruled in his favor, while Angela could do nothing but watch as her hopes of winning were dashed. For Angela, this was more than just a court case. It was her chance to make Michael suffer, to humiliate him in front of the legal system, just as she had often tried to do during their marriage. Her intentions were clear from the start. Angela wanted to destroy Michael in any way she could. She had pursued multiple cases against him, hoping to emerge victorious in each one, but it seemed the tables had finally turned. The judge, familiar with Angela's erratic behavior, refused to tolerate any antics from her and handed Michael the win, much to her dismay. Throughout their tumultuous relationship, Angela had always sought control. Whether it was over their finances, their communication, or even Michael's freedom to engage with friends and family, Angela had consistently wielded power in their marriage. Her loud, aggressive personality left little room for Michael to stand up for himself. Though he had remained patient and calm for years, Angela's behavior had grown more extreme over time, and it seemed that the more control she exerted, the more she wanted. When their marriage finally ended, Angela saw the courtroom as her new battlefield. She was determined to continue her campaign against Michael, this time using the legal system as her weapon. For Angela, it wasn't just about money or winning, it was about regaining the power she felt she had lost. The courtroom provided the perfect stage for Angela to attempt to humiliate Michael and paint him as the villain, just as she had done many times during their marriage. But in this arena, Angela was no longer in control, and the judge was not someone who could be intimidated by her usual tactics. Angela entered the courtroom with confidence, fully expecting to win her case. In her mind, she was justified in her actions, and she believed that the judge would side with her based on the narrative she had crafted over the years. Angela had always portrayed herself as the one who had been wronged in her relationship with Michael, and she hoped to use that perception to her advantage in court. However, Angela had gravely miscalculated. The judge, having reviewed the evidence and aware of Angela's past behavior, was not willing to entertain her attempts to shift blame or manipulate the situation. Unlike the 90 Day Fiancé audience, who had been subjected to Angela's outbursts and manipulations for years, the courtroom was a space where facts and evidence held more weight than theatrics. Angela's usual methods, shouting, intimidating, and trying to control the narrative, were of no use in this setting. The judge saw through her attempts to belittle Michael and refused to let her dominate the proceedings. As the case unfolded, it became clear that Michael had the upper hand. His legal team had prepared a strong defense, presenting concrete evidence of Angela's abusive behavior and the financial and emotional toll it had taken on him. Meanwhile, Angela's accusations were flimsy at best, lacking the substance needed to sway the court in her favor. Despite her efforts to paint Michael as the problem, it was clear that the judge wasn't buying it. Angela's frustration grew as she realized that the power dynamic in the courtroom was not as she had imagined. When the judge finally delivered the verdict, the tension in the room reached its peak. Angela had hoped for a sweeping victory, a ruling that would leave Michael humiliated and suffering. But as the judge ruled in favor of Michael, it was Angela who was left looking defeated. The court had recognized the truth, Angela's behavior, 
both in her marriage and during the legal proceedings, was toxic and unjustified. She had lost her grip on the situation, and the consequences were clear. Michael, who had remained composed throughout the ordeal, breathed a sigh of relief. His years of enduring Angela's controlling behavior had finally come to an end, not just in their marriage, but in the courtroom as well. With the court's ruling in his favor, Michael had won a significant victory, one that affirmed his decision to break free from Angela's grasp. As the ruling was read, Michael's lawyer patted him on the back, a sign of their hard-earned success. They had worked tirelessly to present a solid case, and their efforts had paid off. For Michael, this was more than just a legal win. It was a personal triumph. He had faced years of mistreatment at Angela's hands, and now he had not only freed himself from her control, but had done so with the full backing of the law. Angela, on the other hand, looked crestfallen. Her attempts to regain power over Michael had failed spectacularly. The judge's ruling was a harsh reminder that her manipulative tactics could only take her so far, and in the end, they had backfired. As Michael and his lawyer celebrated their victory, Angela was left to grapple with the reality of her defeat. Angela's immediate reaction to the verdict was one of disbelief. How could this have happened? In her mind, she had been in the right all along. She had expected the court to see things her way, to view Michael as the one who had wronged her. But instead, she had been exposed as the aggressor, the one who had pushed the boundaries of acceptable behavior far beyond what anyone should tolerate. Her public persona, which had always thrived on drama and conflict, was now working against her. Angela's reputation as a difficult and aggressive figure had become her undoing in court. The judge had seen through her attempts to manipulate the situation, and her refusal to take responsibility for her actions had left her without a leg to stand on. In the end, Angela's own behavior had been her downfall. As she left the courtroom, Angela's sadness was evident. She had been so sure of her ability to win, to make Michael pay for leaving her, but now she was the one facing the consequences of her actions. For someone as prideful as Angela, the loss was more than just a legal defeat, it was a personal blow that left her feeling powerless and humiliated. Outside the courthouse, Michael and his lawyer shared a quiet celebration. There were no grand displays of gloating or rubbing salt in the wound, Michael's victory was dignified and reserved. He had always been the calm, patient one in his relationship with Angela, and his behavior now reflected that same quiet strength. For Michael, the win wasn't just about defeating Angela in court, it was about reclaiming his life and his dignity. This legal victory marked the beginning of a new chapter for Michael. For years, he had endured Angela's abuse, both emotional and financial, without complaint. He had remained in the marriage for far longer than most would have, hoping that things might change. But when he finally found the courage to walk away, Michael had done so with grace, refusing to stoop to Angela's level. Now, with the court's ruling in his favor, he had been vindicated. Michael's lawyer, who had been instrumental in securing the win, congratulated him on his resilience and determination. Together, they had faced a formidable opponent in Angela, but through careful planning, solid evidence, and unwavering patience, they had prevailed. Michael's relief was evident as he smiled at his lawyer, finally able to move forward without the weight of his past relationship dragging him down. For Angela, the loss in court was a turning point. No longer could she wield the power she had once held over Michael, and no longer could she use the legal system as a tool to continue their conflict. The court's decision had made it clear that her behavior would no longer be tolerated, and Angela was left to reckon with the consequences of her actions. Angela had always thrived on control, and her defeat in court was a blow to her ego that would not be easily repaired. For someone who had spent years asserting dominance over her relationships, losing to Michael in such a public and definitive way was a crushing reality. She had entered the courtroom hoping to win not just legally but emotionally, to prove to herself and to Michael that she still held power over him. But now, that illusion had been shattered. As Angela processed the court's ruling, she was forced to confront a sobering truth. Her behavior had caught up with her. No longer could she hide behind the excuse of her fiery personality or her reality TV fame. 
In the eyes of the court, she was just another individual who had crossed the line, and the consequences were clear. Angela's future was uncertain, but one thing was undeniable, her days of controlling Michael were over. Thank you for watching.